This is the Newfi R60 HE low profile whole effect keyboard. It's the second low profile whole effect keyboard out there after Zenheim, which is a Japanese company. So it's the first one that is available worldwide. I will give you my likes and dislikes about this one. I will talk about the different switches you can get for this keyboard. And I will also try to compare it with some other options, regular whole effect rapid trigger keyboards. So let's get started. So this is wired only keyboard, which may disappoint some people, but yeah, it's it, you have the USB-C port right here, and you have some tilt options, one and two tilt options for different typing experience. The build quality is quite nice. This is a aluminum frame, but the rest is plastic. It's quite lightweight. It's not extra portable because of the lack of wireless option. But the keycaps are not, not my thing. They could be better and I feel just very average. And you have regular keycaps here. And then you have these ones which are translucent, transparent. I mean, they have different texture, not, not, not that great. They feel slicky. But Fortunately, you get extra extra keycaps for all of, all of these ones, so you can exchange them if you want. Yeah, let me just compare the keycaps, so you can see. Material is it's kind of weird on this one. Okay, so you have three customization uh, profiles, so you can switch between them if you go with gaming mode and work mode or something like that, so when you save your settings in the software. So my version come with, comes with the magnetic Jade low profile switch, which is this one. And there's also a version available with this is the regular regular Jade switch low profile and this is the Jade Pro. So this keyboard uses the first ever gator and low profile magnetic switches and my version comes with the regular Jade J magnetic switch, which, which is this one, with the white thing on top. And there is also a Jade Pro. And the difference with, with them is that the regular Jade, Jade the white one, has a, a bottom out force of, initial force of 30 grams. This one has 40 grams. And a, and force is 50 and 60 grams. So this is supposed to be a little bit lighter, but let me swap the switches and see what is the actual difference between them. So this is the Pro version. And let's compare them. Of course, this one feels a little bit lighter, lighter but it's not a, not, not a huge difference. So let me put the keycaps on. Okay, so the Jade Pro feels a little bit nicer. I mean, the sound is better for sure. It's also only a one switch, so I don't think we, I can draw a lot of conclusion just from one switch. So let me swap them again. Here they are. So 
So let me do a quick sound test. Okay, so what Gateron did well with these switches is that they are between 0.1 and 3.3 .3 actuation range in millimeters. So it's not a huge up difference between them and a regular switch like a Jade Pro magnetic, which has 4 millimeters actuation range. Because of the stem design, you can see it's it's quite long. And what Snoofy did really well this time, so they launched their new web app software, which is snoofy.io. It's a web app and it's pretty great. I mean, the industry standard is still the utility from Wooting, but with this one, uh, with the newfi.io, you just open the website, you can automatically download the, download the firmware, it installs and then you have plenty of options in the software so the best ones the the most the gaming features which this keyboard offers is the dynamic key stroke when you have different four different actions on a single key based on the based on the key position you have the mod tab where two different actions on a single key are based on a on a press behavior you have the toggle key so you will lock an action between its on its on and off state by tapping the key. You have the rapid shift. Rapid shift monitors the two selected keys and activates whichever key pressed is pressed farther downwards. You have the SOCD, which is banned in CS2. It's basically a null, null bind. And you have the hyper tap. Uh, where you automatically trigger, trigger another button when one button stops triggering. So it's plenty of options. I think I don't know if there is an equivalent of the hyper tap in other keyboards, but you know the drunk deer and utility have the dynamic keystroke mod tap toggle key SOCD features. So this uh, Nuffy one mat matches that. And about the latency, well, I don't have a high speed camera, so I couldn't test the latency, but I saw that. On the RT Rings website, they have recently tested the Nufi. This is the Nufi uh, Field 75HE, and this one has 0.8 milliseconds of latency, which is pretty great. It's on par with the Wooting 80. I think Wooting 80 has 0.6 milliseconds latency and Wooting 60 HE has 1.2 milliseconds so I mean it's pretty great you just cannot expect anything much better than that I don't know about, about this one but I f it feels very responsive so this is pretty great and yeah let me compare this new fee 60 HE with some different keyboards I'll do a quick sound test between those and and give you my rundown. Oh yeah, the one thing about that I don't like about the 60HE is the spacebar. It's very inconsistent. You can see it's out of place, kind of. It sounds bad. Like this one is pretty okay. This is very wobbly. Okay, so this is 75 flyout versus the 60 HE. I mean, I wish the Nuki had a 65% layout so you can fit Oro keys there, like this one. 
This is the Varmilo Muse 65 HE. So you can see it's different with the it has the arrow keys and the page down up delete and home button. But this is very heavy and this is very light. This can this has the gated and white switches. I love my Muse, but it's not portable. It's great for gaming, it sounds great, but the new fee, I think, if you want to travel and you really care about the latency of the keyboard, it's a pretty well, pretty good option. So let me just also put the, put the Drunk Deer 70 G75, another 675 layout option, it's quite bigger. So yeah, if you are in the market for a low profile rapid trick keyboard, it's the only option pretty much and it's a pretty solid option. I wouldn't mind having it for my regular gaming sessions. If you want a cheaper budget keyboard, the Drunk Deer is the way to go. Muse is a little bit more pricey but it's pretty great also. And the Newfie Field is also a pretty great option with the very low latency and lots of other buttons, a knob and everything. And I'm really happy with the new fee, new web app. It also has a macro, macro support now, so you can do pretty much everything you want with this uh, web app right now. It has some bugs, but I think they should squash them soon. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, what do you think? If you want, you can use my code HLPlanet for a little bit of a discount on the Newfie website. And if you like this video, you can drop a like or a dislike. And see you in the next one.